To prepare operation, a working rail is placed alongside the track. The rear part of the portal is flexibly connected to the front part. Thus, the portal is able to negotiate curves. The hydraulically activated protection canopy secures the old tunnel roof during operation. The working area for the crew consists of a framed walking gallery and four tiltable working platforms at the sides. The lowest platforms are adjustable in height. In total, there are three working levels including the floor area, to cover the whole cross-section of the tunnel. The center multifunctional boom with hydraulic breaker is moved on a slide track in the middle of the walking gallery. Two hydraulic bracings stabilize the position of the portal during operation. Two slide tracks at the sides carry the hydraulic drilling devices. Under these are two further slide tracks with multifunctional booms and further hydraulic breakers. A separate rear carriage is necessary to transport the power pack for the entire hydraulic and electric supply of the machine. By means of the three hydraulic breakers of the tunnel enlargement portal, the old tunnel lining is chipped away, and for the widening of the tunnel cross-section, the rock is broken up. In cases of harder rock formations, the drilling devices are used to drill trimmer holes with larger diameters to place the hydraulic breakers for chipping the rock. Trains pass by undisturbed during the entire operation. The broken rock is permanently loaded onto trucks and taken away. On the different working platforms, steel mats are brought in and then grid arches are fixed in place. The installed mats and grid arches are shot created. A second layer of mats is brought in and is shot created step by step. At the same time, the loading and transport work is carried out, as well as the cleaning of the portal. The tunnel enlargement portal is moved forward by the integrated stepping device and positioned for the next operating cycle.